Captain Chaudhary. Today I am going to speak about inclining experiment. What is the purpose of inclining experiment? How uh, inclining experiment is so important for the future stability calculations? It is for determining the light ship kg. If light ship kg is not uh, found correctly initially, then for the entire life of the ship, the stability calculations would be wrong. So it is so important that it is determined that where is the position of center of gravity when the vessel is light so that we can always do kg by moment calculation or gm calculations. So we are trying to understand the principle of inclining experiment. First of all, let us understand what is this list. List means the inclination of the ship upon shifting a weight transversely say I have shifted a weight from here to here the vessel gets inclined on one side this was the original water level W0 L0 this is the new water level W1 L1 now earlier while the vessel was upright the center of buoyancy and center of gravity were in one line that is uh, a vertical line but now as the weight is shifted what happens is parallel and proportional to the shift of weight the center of gravity of the ship also will shift and it so happens that in the listed condition the vessel is once again in equilibrium which means that compared to the final water line the center of gravity of the ship and center of buoyancy of the ship will be once again in one vertical line you see when the buoyancy wedges the shift from this point to this point the B shifts from this point to this point and B1 must come vertically under the G the new G1 now for the small uh, angles of list we may say that as the vessel inclines you know there is this meeting point which can be called meta center and we can establish a relationship between the GG1 and M and that relationship is GG1 upon GM is equal to tan theta. So this is a formula for the list when the vessel is listed for listed through the small angle. Now talking about this weight which is W which is shifted over a distance of D can we say W multiplied by D divided by the displacement of the ship is equal to GG1. That means this GG1 in this formula comes from W and D and the displacement of the ship. Now, if uh, while uh, conducting this experiment, that is shifting of the weight from one side to other side, if we had uh, placed a pendulum in the center line of the ship and the pendulum uh, shift along a scale was measured like for example I could probably uh, show you in like probably I can show you in this part as the vessel is inclined once again the same list diagram but we had placed a pendulum probably uh, in a tray which was filled up with oil and the measurement was done along the scale like suppose this is the scale and as the vessel is inclined this is the length of pendulum LOP and this is the graduations which show that how much the uh, the pendulum has shifted along the scale so uh, we can uh, call this as deflection so deflection in meter length of pendulum in meter and this right angle triangle which is formed over here will show an angle of inclination of theta and can we say that deflection upon length of pendulum is also equal to tan theta when we equate this part that is gg1 upon gm which is equal to tan theta 
when we equate this with deflection upon LOP which is also equal to 10 theta then we get GG1 upon GM is equal to deflection upon LOP which means I can write it this way for the GG1 I would write WD upon displacement right upon GM is equal to deflection upon LOP which means if I take GM on the other side the equation becomes GM is equal to WD upon displacement into LOP upon deflection at the time of at the time of conducting the experiment the ship had some bunkers probably some fresh water and these weights which were used so the ship was not perfectly lightweight when we remove these extra weights from the experiment condition we will get the displacement at the time of uh, uh, we will get the displacement equivalent to the light weight let's take a uh, uh, simple values like you know suppose there was a weight of uh, 15 tons suppose there was a weight of 15 tons which was shifted over a distance of 20 meters and the displacement of the ship uh, was say 4000 uh, uh, 900 tons and suppose the length of pendulum was 7 meters and deflection was something like uh, uh, say uh, 20 centimeters or 0 0.2 meters let us see how much GM would be obtained during this experiment so 15 into 20 into 7 divided by 4900 divided by 0 0.2 this gives me a GM of 2.143 meters GM transverse I get is 2.143 meters so this is the calculation, this is a simple calculation showing the principle of inclining experiment and by a very simple calculation by a very simple experiment uh, I get the GM at the time of experiment to be 2.143 Now the KM transverse is known to the ship because KM information is available uh, Suppose I say for this particular displacement that means 4900 for this displacement the KM was say for example 8 meters KM transverse was suppose 8 meters then I get the KG at the time of experiment as 5.8 857 meters uh, at the time of experiment I got 2.143 as GM this GM would be GM fluid because probably there was some uh, free surface correction on the ship and therefore we would call this GM as GM fluid that means what we got uh, 5.857 is the kg fluid of the ship now at the time of experiment suppose there was a total FSM of 1100 tons meter then a free surface correction would be 1100 divided by 4900 and that would be 0 0.224 0 0.224 meter would be the free surface correction which means the GM solid Plus 2.143 plus 0.224 that is equal to 2.367 meters for the displacement of 4900. Now, suppose 
the bunkers that means diesel oil on board was 30 tons fresh water 30 tons at kg 6 meters fresh water was 100 tons kg 5 meters and the weight was at the kg of 11 meters with this information let us uh, find out what was the light ship kg because what we have got right now is the gm or kg at the time of experiment so we will remove these weights one by one so uh, for the km of 8 meters the kg solid is 2.367 that gives me 5.633 uh, kg at experiment time is equal to 5.633 so we'll make a table now weights kg vertical moments 4900 is the displacement at the time of experiment and we got the kg that time as 5.633 uh, from this we remove 30 tons kg 6 meters we also remove 100 tons kg 5 meters and we remove 15 tons with a kg 11 meters and we do this calculation 130 145 4900 0, 0 minus 145 gives me 4755 is the light ship 4900 into 5.633 that is 27602 27602 180 which is to be subtracted 500 which is to be subtracted and 165 which is to be subtracted so let us see 27602 minus bracket starts uh, 1 80 plus 500 plus 165 bracket closes equal to 26756.7 26757 now that divide by 4755 gives me a kg of 5.627 5.627 so uh, that is a kg I have got the kg of light ship now I will quickly summarize this inclining experiment we know that for small angles of list gg1 upon gm is equal to tan theta at the same time if we conduct the experiment using the pendulum and the scale the deflection upon length of pendulum also should be tan theta so the two tan thetas are uh, 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 combined together to get the GM this is the GM at the time of experiment if we know KM at the time of experiment KM minus GM will give me KG at the time of experiment we convert the KG to solid KG right because at the time of experiment there was free surface now this KG is for the experiment time then one by one when we deduct the weights and do the moment calculation we get the KG at the time of uh, we get the kg for light ship as 5.627 the inclining experiment should be conducted in calm waters you know the lines mooring lines should not be very tight and uh, mm, the depth should be sufficient there should be no waves current etc to get a, a better result uh, preferably if there is no wind that is even better now what happens is we can uh, make a graph that is you know moments against the tangent of the inclination that is tan theta so let's say you know on board ship you might conduct the experiment keeping the weights in about three positions on one side three positions on the other side and 
Accordingly, when we keep the weights at different positions, the moments are going to be different. And for every position, if we note down the inclination and we plot a graph, say for example, this is uh, moments on the starboard side, this is tan theta for the starboard side, this is moment on port side and tan theta for port side. For the different moments, that is different positions of the weight, if we note down the inclination and uh, plot tan theta, then we, for all the six or so observations, we should get these points, joining the points, the line should pass through the origin. That means there are no flaws in the experiment, there is no undue effect of wind, swell and uh, under water clearance. Now sometimes it might so happen that the ship has got excessive free surface. Excessive free surface means it is giving additional theta. It is giving additional list, additional inclination. That means even if the moments are not increased, the list will increase, the curve towards the end will try to get deflected like this. This is excessive free surface. Uh, it might so happen that the ship is touching bottom on one side. Suppose the tip ship is touching bottom on the port side, what will happen is this side is alright, straight line, but over here the curve will get deflected like this. It means that even if we increase the moment, this is the moment axis, even if we increase the moment, the theta is not going to increase. It might so also happen that the entire line gets deflected on one side, that means there is a steady wind blowing from one side. Or it might so happen that during the experiment, for one of the positions of the weight, the weight is not, I mean, the, the, the point is not coming on the straight line. It gets deflected on this side or this side, depending on the gusty wind is blowing from which side. This means if we get a line on graph that is straight line throughout and passing through the origin, would mean that most of these errors which I talked about are not going to influence the accuracy of the inclining experiment. Thank you.